and welcome back to another first season of NHL 22. Sonic Beast here as we're ready for our last matchup of the Canadian team. It will be Vancouver Canucks facing against the Winnipeg Jets. And then tune in for the last game as we will have the Golden Knights playing against the Chicago Blackhawks at T-Mobile Arena. Yeah, that is what everyone was thinking. They love NHL. They love to play hockey. But hockey is for everyone. Who really likes to play hockey? Well, <laughs> everybody does. Everybody totally does. And this is, the, uh, this is the next matchup that the Canucks will be playing at Winnipeg here for tonight. And then tune in for the NHL Wild Card. That will be happening here after the regular season is over to take it from the other end. We have Elias Pedersen, JT Miller, the only man himself that after playing with Rangers, he decided to do the Canucks to help the Canadian team go for the playoffs. But their team is having a difficult season and will not be able to move on to the postseason. And Quinn Hoops. On the other end, we have his Connor Halibut, Kyle Connor and Mark Scruffalo. I don't know if I pronounced it correct, but I'm so sorry guys, but this is very hard look that I'm trying to pronounce it correctly. And with that, it's time to head you over to the Canada Palace in Winnipeg of the game. Let's send you over here from the arena. It's a clean sheet of ice and a beautiful night for hockey. Hi everybody, Jane Sabalski along with Ray Ferrero for EA Sports. It is about time to drop the puck. Two teams looking stark for a win, and we are set to go. The Jets start with possession as we are now underway. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Grabbed along the board by Horvath. Winnipeg's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Slides it back to the blue line. Myers has the puck near the back end. And he says no! Stasty's gaining momentum. Broken up by Edwin Larson. Keeps hold of the puck. Wheeler is working it around in the corner. And now he moves it to Morrissey. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. Here he is, shot right in front. His reflexes on display tonight. Sharp reaction team. Jets have it now. Morrissey's got it in the defensive end. Sends the pass over. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. They've got numbers here. Here's the pass. Can't get it to click. Easy peasy right there by Hellebuck. Great reach with the boat check. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Myers takes it through the middle of the ice. Picked up along the boards by Pedersen. The Canucks play it along the wing. Quick pass to Edmund Larson. Can't connect on the pass. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. And he takes a shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it. And keeps it up, The Jets take possession of the neutral zone. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. And that's broken up. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. Heads to the back of the net. Drives to the crease. Monster save by Tempo. No, but being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Steps inside the line. The Canucks get a hold of the puck. Can't get it to go. Quick pass across to Connor. Offside on Winnipeg Jets. And I gotta say it correct, it's Canada Life Century. Canada Life Century. It's not Canada Palace. The Jets win possession here in the open ice. 
Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Back to the blue line. The Canucks have it against the wall. Puck grab by Pullman. Winnipeg's got possession here in the offensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Schmidt. And the puck pops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Quick feed to Kopp. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Tempo. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. The Canucks win it in the defensive zone. Picked off at the offensive end and makes a save. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Race for the puck here, icing waved off on the play. And now he angles it across to Burroughs. Intercepted the pass. The Jets played along the boards. Moves it to Harkins. Denies him in close. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. There's a hit on the play. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. Now over to Harkins. Here's a short pass to Besser. Handles the puck at the point. Shins got it along the wing. Quick pass to Mott. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Through pass ahead. Puck picked up by Wheeler. Denies him. Wow, what a big hit. They worked the puck into position and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Moves it quickly over to Mott. From one point man to another. And the penalty's coming up for Winnipeg. Here's a chance to take advantage with the delayed penalty. They've got the extra attacker on the ice. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. They'll have to try again. Burroughs grabs the puck inside his own territory. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Broke the stick, and there you go. The pass down his sentence. Winnipeg penalty calls to stay two minutes for tripping. for Vancouver power play. The Canucks gain possession. Hammers a shot. Denies him. He got all of it. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Hellebuck is a goalie that seems to get better the more shots he faces, guys. His workhorse zone ability means he can find his rhythm and make stop after stop as they keep coming his way. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Vancouver's got it behind the net. And they keep the pressure on. Take it along the wall by Dillon. The Canucks gain control of the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes the feed at the point. Hughes setting up against the wall. Receives the pass. That's on the stick. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Slides that one right across the blue line. And they won't connect on that one. Quick feed to Miller. To the low side. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. The power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss. Well past the midway mark of this period. Vancouver goal. His first goal of the season scored by number 21, Nicole Hudson. His first assist by number 9, J.T. Miller, and by number 57, 
the second assist. Ball and Bale. Time to goal eight. Eight fifteen remaining first period. Power play goal for Vancouver. Season score by number nine, JT Miller. His team ends up with the goal, and he gets Fair the power play goal. His first assist by number eight, Melon Hoos. And by number 70, Andre Peterson. Time and a goal, 5.45 remaining in the sec first. Winnipeg penalty, Quinn Hoos. Two minutes. For, for interference. Winnipeg sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Power play and penalty kill go a long way to determining what your team's going to be like. This is the power play's first chance. Mm. To see if In two minutes for interference. For Jets power play! No, so we have a general power play. Here's a shot. Connors 
wheel zone ability means he can move past everyone with his great standing speed. No penalty on Vancouver yet. Only one turned out to be hard. Winnipeg's got possession of the puck. The Jets take it along the wall. One minute remaining period. Bruno Romano for you. Slipping in on the attack. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. What's an open space at center? Harkins looks around. Too much traffic in the lane. Shen's got it along the boards. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Slides the puck over. Taken by Veselainen. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. Well played for the power goal, power play goal in between Vancouver with the start, but Vancouver has gotten the loss of it with the Rodman rush of Winnipeg with the first power play goal. We'll be right back with the second period. Both teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro and James Sabalski ready to bring you the call for period number two. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Battling for it along the boards. The Jets have it now. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Maintains possession. Quick feed to Shifley. Turns it away. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. Moves it to Ekman Larson. Moves the puck along the half wall. From the point, looks to make something happen. Answers it with an even better save. DeMello's taking it from his own end. Takes the pass. Hooked away by Edwin Larson. Horvath's lugging the puck. There's the whistle. We Offside on Vancouver. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. The Jets win the faceoff. Steps into the offensive end. A shot that's kicked away with the pad by Demko. The Canucks take it along the wall. Here's a chance. He scores. Elias Pedersen. Wow. It's a goaltender. I think the goalie felt it. He was in the perfect position. He didn't really move too much, but just inside the post. Vancouver's now up by two in the second. Hey, Bayouk is a goalie. That's for the Winnipeg Jets. Vancouver goal. His first goal of the season. Score by number 20. Elias Patterson. Here's a short pass. Assisted by number 21, Nas, Nas Paul of Osco. And by number 5, Robin Poolman. Time in the goal, 17.58 to go. In the second. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Quick pass to Poolman. Who doesn't yet get it? Hey, they didn't see you buried. Pad save. He's on it tonight. And now it's grabbed by Dillon. Winnipeg's looking to break out. From the left side, they gain the zone. Here's a shot. Goalie with a stop. Demko's had to do his part. He's had a good night in the goal, but at the other end, they've been really sharp around the net. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Jocelyn for the puck, but still maintains possession. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And he denied that opportunity. Takes the shot. Puck scooped up by Pearson. Gaining momentum up along the side. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. My hard hits. Jets are pulling it back in there. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Hey, oh, big hit on the end. Gains the zone through the middle. Oh, 
A lot of hits, a lot of banging. Just flying around. Over the line they come. And he regains control of the puck. Turns him away. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Quick feed to Wheeler. And makes the routine save. Taken along the wall by Dickinson. Oh, great little takeaway at center. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. With possession along the wall. And that one's broken up. Moves the puck. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Canucks are in transition. Scooped up along the wall by Vorka. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Point to point pass. Puck grab by Wheeler. Denied by the goaltender. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to chase on. And that's out of reach. He's got a little jump. He's in all alone. And that was stopped. Takes control of the puck. Can't connect. Ekman Larson's got the puck in his own zone. Takes a shot. Oh, great save by Hillebuck. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck across to Morrissey. Probst send them again into the attacking area. Here's a chance! Oh, off the outside the frame! The Jets luck stays poor. This shot hits the pipe and doesn't bounce in for them. They still trail in the game. Puck picked up by Lemico. Moving into the attacking zone. And the goaltender comes up on a piece of it to keep it out of the net. How about strength is technically he is outstanding. Here's a save, and the puck's in the corner. Grabbed along the board by Dubois. And that's a great hits up play by Portland. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck. Oh, not hello. It's just another miss. Great pressure to force the turnover. How did he stop that one? Now he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. Goaltender makes the stop. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Canucks are up 3 1. Winnipeg started in the offensive zone. And he can't get it off. Oh, that's got the crowd buzzing after that stop. Vancouver's on the attack. There's the ball for the hit parade. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. That's turned away with a pad by Demko. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Takes the feed. Oh, had a chance to make a nice Oh, he lost that one. Lost a slap shot. Almost could have got a goal. But he came out and challenged a good save. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Slides Almost lost that. Wow, what a goal. Winnipeg's got new life here in this second period, Ray. It's amazing what a goal does. The energy on the bench changes. Guys can't wait to get on. Jets goal! His first goal of a season, score by number 38. Carlos Dude Boots! And assisted by number 41, Zach Wheeler. Time for the goal, 7-14 remaining in the second period. Yeah, they don't know if they Yeah, they Yeah, they Uno, uno, say, please, the dos, don't be out of Winnipeg's won the draw. Pass back to the point. The Canucks have it from their own end. 
They go on the attack through center. Garland's going to play it against the half wall. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Picked up along the wall by Pearson. Textbook stopped by Hellebuck. Quick feed to Wheeler. Winnipeg's got it in the offensive zone. Gives them nothing in front. That's an important stop for the goalie. Not only does he make the save, but because he catches it, he kills the play. Stays with it. Taken by Hortnack. And now it's grabbed by Svechnikov. Here's a short pass to Shifley. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And serves up a little knock on the play. Puck scooped up by Svechnikov. The Canucks move it ahead. Takes the puck at the point. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. Puck grab by Shifley. Takes a shot and then carries off a stick. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. Here's a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Puck picked up by Kopp. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Slaughtered away with a stick in the defensive zone. Winnipeg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a race for the loose puck. Puck said down the ice. Icing on Vancouver. Here in the lane going to the frame. The Canucks are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Simple detail, win the draw, you can get out of the zone. Taken by Besser. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Back to the point it goes. Denies him with a save. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Yeah, the officials didn't like that. The arms are in the air. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. We're trying to defend that lead aggressively. Vancouver penalty, Tyler Myers, two minutes for a stick interference. They're slashing. Winnipeg's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Down by one, now you've got a power play. Make sure that you're organized and look for the tying goal. The Jets take possession off the face off. And that goes off the player. And now it's Winnipeg. Okay, two minutes. We win back. Power play. Those were no windows. Now we need power play. I think he's all right, but really, like, who are we to say? We're standing here in a suit. I mean, he just took a puck flying that fast right in the face. I hope he's okay. The Jets working through center. The Canucks gain possession of the defensive zone. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Shen stick handling in his own zone. They get it out of the defensive end. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Winnipeg penalty, Neo Plant, two minutes for interference. This is an important penalty kill. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four on four on the ice. Sometimes you need grit and you need grind and you need toughness. Not in four on four. You need skill. You need guys that can skate and who can move the puck. We're doing a four on four play. Last minute play, one minute period to go. Bruno Momento, here we appear in second. Second frame almost done, well inside a minute now. Vancouver's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Slides it across to Myers. The Canucks have it behind the net. Looks to set up at the point now. The Jets get a hold of the puck under man. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Vancouver's got the puck. And that can... 
concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Getting a little bit close up here, but the third period's coming up after this message. Don't go anywhere. We got one more period to go. The officials are set. The players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Sabolski. Let's go. The Jets penalty killers get off to a good start. Winning possession here. Quick pass to Lowry. And he comes up with it. Great reflexes. Another save. The Canucks take it from their own end. The time running out on this man advantage. Hangs on to the puck. Zone. Well, the penalty killers hang on. They give themselves a chance. There's not much time left, but they were able to stay in touch with the game with a good penalty kill. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Hillebuck. Really like his positioning here as he's able to get the glove up there to make the save. But it doesn't have to be a spectacular, crazy save because he's in a good spot. Moves it quickly over to Shifley. Nice pass. And that's turned aside by Demko. Quick feed to chase on. And uses the length of the stick to knock that puck away. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Rips it. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Hellebuck's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Vancouver's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Horvath's won the draw. Denies him with a save. Hellebuck's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Here's a shot. Oh, that goes off the bucket, and he keeps it out. You know, whatever you got to do, I guess, man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. Moves it to Morrissey. Connors moving it ahead. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. Denies him again. Quick reflexes give him the opportunity to make back-to-back -back stops. Puck scooped up by Connor. The Canucks take possession of the neutral zone. And that's hooked away. From the right side, hooks it up ahead. Puck grabbed by Edmund Larson. Here's a short pass to Tony Dato. This alignment's got it into offensive territory. Pearson's got it in the defensive end. On the attack along the boards. And that pass is redirected. Quick pass to Tony Dato. Takes the feed. Takes a shot. Denies him in front. Moves it quickly over to Hoaglander. Picking up some steam at center ice. Myers carries the puck in his own zone. Pearson's carrying it ahead. There's a blast! Stops him again! Right spot makes the double save. Positioning does it all. There's the whistle. Offside on Vancouver. Still lots of time left here in this frame. 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Shifley's won the draw here in the open ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Vancouver's going to play it from the corner. Right in front! And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. 
Nice job tying up his opponent. Puck picked up by Wheeler. And that's broken up. And the puck's put it away. The Jets have it now. Gaining steam here on the attack. Stones him in front. And that's stolen in the offensive zone. Quick feed to chase on. Handles the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. What a stop with the kick save. Hellebuck's been super busy tonight, but doesn't show any signs of fatigue. He kicks out another one. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Puck battle along the boards. There's the and we got a power play going. Working hard to get a We're the pick penalty, Blake Mueller. Two minutes for holding. Penalty is really going to hurt them. Power play coming up for Canucks. The Canucks once again send out their power play unit. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone face-off. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. And they get that Two minutes for holding for Vancouver and power play. And those women are moving to the power play. The Jets have possession shorthanded. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. The Canucks are playing the puck from behind the net. Moves it to Holtlander. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Quick pass to Miller. Picked off by Lowry. And the puck clears the zone. Vancouver's got it behind the net. Here's a short pass to chase on. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. The Jets play it along the boards. Sent into the offensive zone. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Gains the zone from the right side. Centered out in front. He scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they though, the way that they move some people around has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. Get to the net, that's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. With his superstar ability, he was able to pick up an assist after creating that chance, guys. He's shown us how he can contribute to this team's success. Vancouver goal, his first goal of the season, scored by number 39, Alex Charson. Vancouver's got the puck along Their power play goal. Takes the feed. The assist by number 9, the nine JT Miller. And by number 23, Exxon Larson. Time of the goal, 9-23 remaining in the third.
Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. Shifley's got it along the wing. Turns it aside with the pad. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Vancouver's got it in the defensive zone. The Jets play it along the wing. He's in front. Brings the iron. Denies it with the pad. Oh, another consecutive stop. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Here's a shot. Big save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen out. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Fitzalainen's picking up steam. Gets the puck in deep. The Canucks have it behind the cage. Pass it up ahead. Rocks him on the play. Quick feed to Tony Dotto. Denied by Tempo. Pearson's gaining momentum. Here they come on the attack. Moves it to Shen. Fires it on deck. And that's blocked away. He was totally locked in on that play. The Canucks gain control of it. Across the line from center. That's moved up ahead. And things start to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Nice zone entry from the right side. Vancouver's cut it along the wall. And that's just out of reach. And now he moves it to Lamico. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Jets gain control of the puck. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Vancouver's got the puck. Passed up ahead. Now he takes it over the line. Quick pass to Chason. What a stop in the paddle by Hillemark. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Feeds it down low. That's the line that's got it against the boards. Look at that shot. Can't get it to go. The Jets are looking for a way back in this game. They continue to get scoring chances, but late in the third period, they can't find the net. Puck scooped up by Svechnikov. Tries to feed it over to Morrissey. Winnipeg's in transition. Receives the pass. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Scores! How did he get that? One minute of the period. Uno Momento in the first piece. Jets goal! His first goal of the season. And that's intercepted by Wheeler. I like he wants to move it quickly, but make a safer play than that. The Time to go. 1 0 2 19 32 to go. Shot from the wall. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Winnipeg looking for a chance to tie the game. Connors really impressed me tonight, guys. Both players we highlighted earlier have got points in this game, but I just really like how engaged he's been in this one. I'm giving the edge to him for using his zone ability to his advantage. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Here's a short Now they're pulling it away. It's an on man rush. Two on one. The Jets really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. Moves the puck to Schmidt. And now he moves it quickly to Dubois. Along the half wall with the puck. And it is all over with this one. The Canucks put in the power in power play. They really took advantage of those moments tonight, right? 
I thought they had their legs changed, which put the other guys at the defensive side of the play more often. They drew penalties, and they capitalized when they had the man advantage. In the meantime, and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James. Good night. Hope well, we all enjoyed the Canadian matchup. A little disappointment out there, but that hit the post, and I went in the goal in the third period. We know that it turned out to be just like that. But this doesn't really happen like that. 4-3 to three is your final score. Canucks win the game, but won't be advancing to the playoffs. Time to present your three star players of the game. Number three is JT Miller. 1-1-1. One, one, one. All three of them at once, including the tape-to-tape -tape one and insane run. Number two. Star is Nas Hoglander. One goal, one assist. Same thing just like JT Miller. But this turned out to be a little bit different. And your number one star all goes to Dirk Demko. 55 saves from the Winnipeg Jets. I mean the Vancouver Canucks. But that's a lot of uh, workout routine. Working in behind and trailing to stop. Total shots combined. 26 for Vancouver and 58 for Winnipeg. 30 hits for Winnipeg and 15. 726 to 710 on a time on attack. Passing average was 91%, but 74% turned out to be Vancouver, not enough to get there. And that was a lot of face-off wins here for Winnipeg Jets, 23 to 8. Penalty minutes was 4 minutes for Vancouver and 6 minutes for Winnipeg. 2 on 3, 2 out of 3 power plays. Made that one just handy for Vancouver instead of one on two for Winnipeg. And 5.05 on the Vancouver power play minutes, 2.31 with the Winnipeg power play minutes. So that's it for this game. I'd like to thank you all for watching for this one as we stick around here for the last game of Blackhawks and the Vegas Golden Knights in T-Mobile Arena. And then we will take the wild card for the first time in the season of NHL to finish the postseason and head off to Stanley Cup playoffs. So with my crew, son of peace is out. Peace out everyone for as a while as the NHL 22 dial. Have a great, fantastic afternoon of Winnipeg and Vancouver. See you all for the final game of the season. Somebody